Well, this topic yielded a more bizarre mix of movies than I expected. Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my top five movies based on TV shows. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for a variety of movie-related content like reviews, ranked lists, and trailer reactions. Well, it's the first Saturday of the month, so that means it's time for another episode of the Movie Nerds Club. This month, we're turning our attention to TV. Sort of. After you watch my top picks for movies based on TV shows, make sure you check out the videos of the other members of the Movie Nerds Club. Links to their videos are in the description below. With the upcoming release of the Bob's Burgers movie at the end of this month, we decided that this would be the perfect month to take a look at movies based on TV shows. The criteria here are a bit broad, so basically any movie associated with a TV show counts. An adaptation, continuation, sequel, you name it. Unlike most of the other movie nerds, I'm not really a big TV person. There are definitely shows that I like and watch, but compared to the other movie nerds, and I think to most people, I watch quite a bit less. So when I sat down to make this list, I figured I had to be missing a lot of movies. So I went to look through a master list of eligible films and still ended up with the same five that I had already picked. Remember, these are just my top movies, not the top movies, so be sure to post your own personal top movies based on TV shows in the comments below. Remember, these are just my top movies, not the top movies, so be sure to post your own personal top movies based on TV shows in the comments below. Alright, let's get this top list started. Coming in at number 5, The Fugitive. So this movie's based on The Fugitive, which was a crime drama that ran for four seasons between 1963 and 1967. The Fugitive was a show about Dr. Richard Kimball, a man who was wrongfully convicted of his wife's murder. While being transported to death row, there's an accident that allows him to escape, and the show focuses on him being hunted by authorities while trying to find his wife's real killer, the one-armed man. So this definitely sounds like the type of show I would enjoy, but I've actually never watched a single episode, even though it's been on my miles-long shows-to-watch list for close to two decades now. The 1993 film adaptation, The Fugitive, is a movie that I can remember watching when I was very young. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was the first Harrison Ford movie that I ever saw. In this adaptation, he plays Dr. Richard Kimball, and the story sticks pretty close to the basic premise of the show. After quickly setting the stage, this becomes a fairly fast-paced action thriller. Ford is extremely believable as this character, because Kimball is a mild-mannered, law-abiding citizen who suddenly finds himself not only a convicted criminal, but also a fugitive from the law who has to be willing to do things he wouldn't normally do and outwit the authorities. And so there's two conflicting sides to him, and Ford's able to deliver on both of them. It's not a groundbreaking movie or anything, but it's very enjoyable and well-made, condensing a four-season TV show into one 130-minute movie. Coming in at number four, a Goofy movie. So this movie's based on Goof Troop, which was an animated sitcom that ran for two seasons between 1992 and 1993. Goof Troop was about Disney's Goofy, who was portrayed here as a single father to a preteen son, Max. The show begins with them moving to Goofy's old hometown and focuses on their father-son relationship, their relationship with their neighbors, whom Goofy has a history with, and just generally the Goofy antics of their life. Unlike most of the shows on this list, I did watch this one as a kid. I enjoyed it, but I haven't seen it in a long time, and I'll admit that the specifics haven't really stuck with me over the years. But the movies have. Goof Troop spawned two movies, and the first, and better, of the two was 1995's A Goofy Movie. This film served as a continuation of Goof Troop, picking up a few years after where the show left off. Max is in high school now, and is getting to that age where he's starting to pull away from his father a bit. So Goofy plans a cross-country father-son road trip so they can spend some time together. But Max is embarrassed by Goofy, and just wants to go to a concert to impress a girl he likes. This is one of those movies that was really fun as a kid. It had some catchy music, it was funny, and you could empathize with Max. But watching it now, I'm struck by just how poignant and emotional the father-son stuff is here. It's got an unexpected amount of heart, especially for a goofy movie. 
Coming in at number three, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. So this movie is based on Scooby-Doo Where Are You, which was an animated mystery comedy that ran for two seasons between 1969 and 1970, before reappearing as a number of spin-off shows. Scooby-Doo was about the Mystery Inc. gang, a group of four teenagers and a talking Great Dane named Scooby-Doo, who work together to solve supernatural mysteries. Of all of the shows on this list, this is the one I've watched the most. I've loved Scooby-Doo since I was a little kid, and have watched nearly all of the different Scooby-Doo shows over the years. It's just always been that perfect combination of supernatural creepiness, mystery solving, and humor. Scooby-Doo has spawned a ton of movies, nearly 50 of them at this point. When I was really young, Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School was my all-time favorite. But in 1998, when I was eight, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island came out and became the pinnacle of Scooby-Doo movies for me. In this film, the Mystery Inc. gang find themselves reunited after a hiatus uh, in order to investigate a bayou supposedly haunted by a pirate ghost. I have always loved the creepy, moody atmosphere of this one. It's genuinely spooky. Voodoo, zombies, rituals, it's still got the comedy you'd expect from Scooby-Doo, but this movie's got some dark stuff going on. I won't spoil anything, but this film also deviates a bit from the typical Scooby-Doo story in an unexpected, unsettling, and very satisfying way. Coming in at number two, The Man From U.N.C.L.E. So this movie is based on The Man From U.N.C.L.E., which was an espionage show that ran for four seasons between 1964 and 1968. The Man From U.N.C.L.E. focused on two secret agents, one American, one Russian, working together for U.N.C.L.E., or the United Network Command for Law and Enforcement. Together, they used their espionage skills and all sorts of gadgets to thwart world-ending plots. I've seen a stray episode here and there, but this is another show that I've never really watched much of. The Man from U.N.C.L.E. spawned eight movies during the 60s, but these were really just theatrically released extended cuts of already aired episodes. But in 2015, a true film adaptation was released, acting as a bit of a prequel, showing us the origins of U.N.C.L.E. and the two main characters. Now, I'm certainly no stranger to spy movies. I know many of you have seen my reviews of the James Bond and Mission Impossible series, and I've talked about my love of the Bourne franchise many times. Most spy movies tend to be set in the general time period in which they're made, even if that means transplanting an older story into a modern setting. But The Man from U.N.C.L.E. is a period piece. It retains the show's then-contemporary 60s setting at the height of the Cold War. It's an interesting, stylish, and fun espionage thriller, and even though it's highly unlikely at this point, I would still love to see a sequel. So that means my number one movie based on a TV show is Mission Impossible Fallout. So this movie is based on Mission Impossible, which was an espionage show that ran for seven seasons between 1966 and 1973. Mission Impossible focuses on the IMF, or Impossible Missions Force, which is tasked with completing world-saving missions that nobody else can or will do. Just like all of the other non-cartoons on this list, I've never really watched the show. I've caught an episode or two, but my Mission Impossible experience stems almost exclusively from the movies. Mission Impossible spawned the Tom Cruise-led film series of the same name, which is currently six films long, with a seventh on the way in 2023. Honestly, three of the Mission Impossible films probably could have made it into this list, but I decided to limit it to just my favorite, Fallout. This is a series that ups the ante with each new installment. Every sequel goes bigger than the last, and Fallout has everything cranked up to 11. The story is really strong, but it's the action and stunts that truly wow here. And I still think that this is one of the best action movies we've had so far this century. It's an exciting and exceptionally well-crafted movie, and I'm very much looking forward to the next installment in the series. All right, so there you have it, my top five movies based on TV shows. What are your top movies? Be sure to post your own ranking in the comments below, and don't forget to check out the pics of the other members of the Movie Nerds Club. And if you're interested in buying any of these movies, I do have affiliate links for all of them in the description below. I get a small commission from anything you buy using one of my links, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd use them if you're in the market for any of these movies. 
All right, so if you got some enjoyment, insight, or information out of this top list, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe or add it to see more videos like this, as well as movie reviews. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies. The way life should be.